it's it's a world where now I laugh at myself being in it because Roland Roland is a guy who who has a narrative attached to an agenda of good, right? And his agenda of good comes from once upon a time being a part of something that wasn't so good, that he felt that he had to detach from because of where his life has taken him. And in this new place of living, in this new place of life, there's a found respect for the place of Pandora and for the things that possibly could be attached in it or to it, where he can be a part of the conversation of making better, of making things good. And, you know, when there's a reason to hold on and care, he shows true heart. He shows a side of uh, humanity that I think grounds this space uh, that we're in. You know, you're in sci-fi. So that moment or those moments where you're able to ground the idea of what's in this world of fiction are really, really good. The first thing that came to mind, he was big. He's a, he's a big guy in the game. Um, and, you know, when Eli and I talked about the character, I said this is an amazing opportunity for me as an actor because you're going in a complete opposite direction than what the fans of this world may expect or may think Roland should be um, or who he should be. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a man of pressure. I love pressure. And I said what this gives me the opportunity to do is have a complete shock factor. Um, and here's the crazy part, not, not for myself, for the audience, because I know what I'm capable of doing. Uh, and what I'm capable of doing is over-preparing. So I went, I got some serious training. Uh, I got really physical. Um, I put a demand on my body where I knew my body would respond. And I showed up with a certain look, with a certain tone, um, because of my preparation. And yeah, it's not the the size of the dog. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's the bite. So what you see and understand, um, me taking on the character, he has a different bite now that he's live, now that he's real. I think Eli's smart. I think Eli's smart as hell. And, you know, I know people know how talented of a director he is. I mean, that's why he has the responsibility of this crazy budget attached to this crazy idea and why people are comfortable with putting it in his hands. Um, he's so calculated. He's so prepped. He understands what he wants. He knows why he needs it. And everybody, everybody around him and underneath him also understands what his goal and what his vision is. I couldn't ask for a better, for a better co-star. Like she's, she's unreal. She's pleasant, she's fun, she's personable. Um, and every day she shows up and she's willing to go a thousand percent. There's not been one bad day with Kate, with Jamie, with myself, with Ariana, with Flo, like literally everybody's showing up and we all have the mindset of making a good movie because we understand the potential of it. And for Kate, she's just, she's committed. She's so committed to the character. Like you can tell she's done her homework and why would anybody be shocked? Like she's an Oscar award winner. Like there, there isn't material that she's looked at and, and, not prepared for like this is what she does at the highest level so why would she not bring that into to this jamie lee curtis is everything that you would expect her to be plus more jamie lee curtis has put a warm a warm sense of uh love and kindness on our set I've never seen anybody cater to a crew more. And I, I consider myself somebody that always makes sure everybody's energy is high, smiles are up, high-fiving. Jamie Lee Curtis is by far the best 
when it comes to every single person has value and will feel important when I'm around. The other thing I would say is that we're working with an amazing talent in Ariana. Little girl is special. Uh, it's another one that lights up our set every day with her energy, her positivity. She's so smart. Um, you know, you're you're definitely watching a star in the making. Um, and and Flo, you know, he's 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 possibly he has the toughest job here. You know, his costume is is one where he's been put in the position to kind of suffer in some of our toughest environments. You know, he has on no shirt and it's just uh it's just you know the straps and he has a weapon and he has a mask and. He shows up to work every day, man. He's happy and he's committed, and and there's never a there's never a bad mood, you know. And I and I love that about him. I love that he's excited about what this can be for him, for for the movie in general, for us. And I'm telling you, the energy just transfers. You're as good as the people around you. And in this case, the stunt team's second unit, they set the tone, you know, for us as talent. You know, it's about it's about the people that truly understand this world of action. And it's about them placing you um, in positions where you can do what you've trained for and you can also be elevated. And Jimmy's done a good job of that. Uh, for myself and Kate, uh, who are doing a lot of action. And they're doing a lot of takes where you're on me and Kate. The stunt team is there to definitely do stunts, which there's a lot of, but there's a lot where you need me and Kate to actually do a lot of the choreography, be physical. You know, they want to make sure that they get those passes. And if we didn't come in prepared or we didn't look right, it would show. We have such a good cast, such a, such a good cast, man. And uh, I really do think that the people that are fans of Borderlands that have been there since day one, um, you're going to be happy. And I think, of course, any decision or any move that's made, you're always going to get doubt. You're always going to get opinions. So it's not about proving people wrong. It's about giving people something good to see. In this case, I can say confidently that they will have that.